Hey guys, Martin here, and seeming I just did the last compositing tutorial, I found this shot with me just walking past um, at the film location where I'm, uh, I was filming. Yeah, there was a kind of a drop there, but um, I figured I should uh, include chapter 4, uh, a quick rotoscoping tutorial. It's not really rotoscoping, but um, just animating a mask tutorial. So uh, let's do that then and let's see where we end up. Uh, so uh, what we're going to need for this tutorial, uh, sorry for the stuttering, is the mask tool and uh, some information about keyframing. Uh, I'm sorry, I will do the keyframing tutorial as soon as possible, but I'll try to explain it as we go along in this one right here. So we got me walking from the right side of the clip to the left side of the clip and I want to uh, I want the text to pop up somewhere around here and I wanted to animate in as soon as I walk past um, this might be a bit tedious and maybe a bit long tutorial um, but so was my last one and try to keep with me on this one because this is a really useful skill to know when you're an After Effects user so, um, I've got the first two typos right here, got the adjustment layer, let's shut all of these down. Let's turn the audio back on for this one, because I shut it down in the last tutorial. And here we go, this is the piece of footage we want, I already uh, corrected it to fit in with the other pieces of the uh, footage. Um, I don't know if that's, I said that right, but ah oh well. So. Um, we want our first line of the haiku, which is, uh, let's make it a bit smaller, let's make it 150, and let's call it explore, there we go, five syllables, two words, and we're gonna go into here, this little button right here, click and hold, and select the title, uh, title action safe, and this is a really uh, handy little uh, drop-down menu for compositing stuff inside of your footage. Um, you're mostly going to work with the title action save, especially when you're working on DVD footage like I am right now. So let's just um, move this over so it's uh, perf perfectly centered and move it up a bit. And let's move this a bit because I don't want my, um, oh my god, I'm so tired face to be on there. I kind of keep the same expression throughout the whole thing so we can't really adjust that. <clears throat> but moving on, uh, as I said this might be a bit long and tedious so let's try to get through this as fast as we can. So we got the explore soft thing here and we're gonna go over to where I just um, get past the first letter and I want my arm to pass it like that. So right here we're gonna zoom in and this is basically damn trucks. This is basically a rotoscoping tutorial but simplified um, in a way that it's uh, not taking as long as actual rotoscoping where you mask out the whole figure which is in this instance me. So this is where uh, my hand just started uh, starts to get past the E and we just got it uh, across the arm I'm not that muscular I know but we'll have to work with this <laughs> sorry um, <clears throat> so click the text click the pen tool or press G on your keyboard and let's just mask out my arm And you want to go, well this doesn't have to be too precise, but there we go. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but um, try to get it as good as, uh, as good as you can. So get the select tool and make these points just a bit better by clicking and dragging the points. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of text popping up already. So we're going to press M on our keyboards and uh, click the stopwatch for the mask path. 
this is a really important step because without this uh, the mask will not animate and you can start all over from point one again so be sure to set a keyframe for this and we're gonna go back one frame because we don't want the text to be anywhere on the footage and uh, we don't have to be that oops precise with this we're just gonna move this around and this and this one and as you can see as I go to the next frame there we go so it, the text is not here and here you got a little bit of a half uh, line of the E so let's go fur further to the next frame which my arm moves quite a lot in and just drag this over here and you're gonna repeat uh, this process for as long as you need to rotoscope stuff out so um, let's just see how we can put this in that's looking pretty good uh, as I can see here we've got the bottom portion of the E in in there as well so let's do that real quick and I just heard my dad shouting dinner so I've got to hurry up hold on one second yeah I cleared it okay I've got to move pretty quickly now because um, dinner has almost been served and I might have to cut this tutorial short so let's get a move on and repeat this step as much time as we need I am literally skipping dinners for you guys um, I hope that will reflect in my subscription counts even though I promised not to talk about it anymore but this is kind of a big sacrifice <laughs> not that I am really that hungry and try to get it as good as you can it, it, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just a bit out of focus because I am walking towards the camera which I just set up and didn't touch so you can feather the mask a bit afterwards so next frame um, I think I'll be doing the first word and then just shut, shut it down and maybe continue in, an, in the next tutorial because well I just don't like cold dinner so oops and there's not too darn much to talk about at this point this is uh, just a repeated uh, process of just moving the points going to the next frame and be sure to press uh, Ctrl S or Command S if you're on a Mac quite a lot because uh, you don't want to do this over and over again if your After Effects crashes and if you add a lot of effects that might just be the case and there we go got the H in there next frame and again tedious little work but well worth it to get a really nice effect uh, to your footage and again um, if you want to see the full video check my Vimeo account I will be uploading all full videos there instead of YouTube um, I'm sorry YouTube their quality is just that much better let's see here this is a G, so I might need to bring another point in. Maybe not, but let's see here. Next frame. They should really invent a camera which. Uh, automatically sees what is a person and tracks it as a mask to import it into After Effects and <laughs> I know 
this technology will not be uh, realized in my lifetime at least but oops but it's a nice idea to just put out there and if someone from Canon or Nikon or uh, Red Cinema sees this and thinks hey we can do that <laughs> please do because this is a lot of work and adding another point is just selecting the pen tool and clicking where you need to add another point and you can adjust it like so max frame and I'm gonna stop at the G because I think you well I think you've um, seen the basic idea of this and full body rotoscoping is the process of just masking masking out the whole subject again in this case me and doing that frame by frame as I'm doing now but then for the whole person so as soon as I have finished the G I will go have some dinner because tutorial making is a hungry business you need to eat otherwise you'll be whining about how you can smell the food from your room and that's not a good thing or maybe it is I don't know you'll be the, you'll be you'll be the judge of that Almost done, almost done, one more frame, and I've got the G masked out. I think I'm gonna have to need one more frame for this. And if I want to get it uh, really precisely I might just want to mask out this bit for the entire footage but um, you'll see if I do that when I publish the video which I'll probably have when I will upload these tutorials because it would hurt me to know that people know what I'm making before I release it just kidding I'm actually kinda happy people are excited as I stated in my last tutorial. So um, let's just uh, play this little bit back. I'm just going to put it onto this piece. Just, oh. Oops. Ah. You are a big piece of footage. There we go. Uh, that's the problem with 1080p, it's a big, big, bit big, so, there we go, and if you want to fat, yeah, yeah, what, what, um, okay, I gotta go down, man, um, just one quick uh, little thing, press, uh, when you have the mask open, select it, press F, and just turn up the feathering amount to about 10 to uh, match the footage and let's see here that, that that's maybe a bit much because you can see it over my arm so let's put that to three and that's a lot better so um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I'm gonna get some food and I'll see you guys next time um, by the way, this might be chapter 4 or maybe chapter 2 point something uh, explaining the mask tool. Bye.